you have to do two different methods of propulsion. The first one is that you'll actually accelerate to the end of the straightaway, and by the end of the straightaway, you will have to drop into your spot position and sticky skate all the way to the end of the straightaway and halfway around the next turn. Okay, so Rosanna's going to accelerate to the end of the straightaway, let's pretend. And then she'll sticky skate all the way down the straightaway into the, in the 90 degree spot. There we go. And it'll be halfway around the first turn. So, Miss Viola will actually accelerate and then drop into the 90 degree spot and just coast. It's easy to lose speed on a tennis court. There's a lot of friction, but on your regular floor, this would be fine. <laughs> <laughs> she would actually have enough juice to get all the way around the next turn. Good job, Viola. for your minimum skills test is you have to be able to make and hold and control yourself and participate with your teammates in a pace line. You'll be one arm's length apart from each other. You'll measure it with your arm. You want to actually touch your teammate on the top of their butt at their very lower back. If you touch them high and you stumble and fall or someone pushes you, you'll accidentally push them down to the floor. If you keep your hand low and you lose stability or get hit, then you will push your teammate forward and they won't fall. Okay, so you put this together, one arm's length, everybody's going to be in good derby stance. Now, I realize this is on a tennis court, but you'll actually be in the center of your track at all times. So, this pace line is going to start moving right now. Nice little moderate pace, moderate to slow. They'll stay in the middle of the track, one arm's length. All right, so they're gonna maintain control and stability in a pace line. On the whistle, the last skater in the pace line will weave in and out all the way to the front and become the new front skater. They will call each side as they go, inside, outside. <laughs> okay, tweet! Inside. Easy does it. Slow it down. Outside. Okay. As the new front of the line, we like to call them a pivot. And once they get into position, they yell reset. Reset. And what that means is get in the center of the track, one arm's length. Next skater. Tweet! She's calling inside and outside, but you can't hear it from here. And you pivot. All right. Viola, tweet. Okay. Good job. Okay, so now, nice job. Another thing that we did while we were in the pace line is we did the sprint to front. So on the whistle, the last skater actually accelerates and skates to the front of the line, calls it inside or outside. The point of this is to get your line in the middle of the track, make sure there's room on both sides at all times, and then she gets to practice some speed control once she gets to the front. Tweet! And then she drops right in as the new pivot. Reset. She calls reset, making sure they're in the center of the track in one arm's length. Next skater, tweet! So that's the sprint to the front in the pace line. Another thing that you'll, you can do once you start feeling more comfortable is some speed control in this pace line. When you practice speed control in the pace line, the first skater will change their speed faster or slower or maybe even stop. And the job of everyone behind her is to change their speed and maintain that one arm's length accordingly, even coming to a stop. It's hard to do, so start slow. Start with small small and gradual speed changes. 
Take it easy. Okay, so Jen will be your first pivot. She's accelerating. Try to keep up with that one arm's length. And now she's slowing down. Try to stay with it. Usually each person at the front of the uh, front of the line gets a minute or a minute and a half and somebody runs a stopwatch and then you go tweet and you get a new skater who sprints to the front and is then the new pivot. Start slow, start easy. It takes a lot of time and a lot of practice to not fall on your teammates, but don't rush it. Okay, now after they've done that, the next thing you can do in your pace line is your hip whip or hip assist. So what will happen is the last skater should be able to get herself to the front of the line without skating. She will use the energy of her teammates. She grabs them at the very lower back and pulls herself forward. And she'll say inside or outside, depending on which side she's actually going around. She's actually taking the energy away from her teammate to propel herself. Okay, tweet. Always says reset at the front to put her line back together. Tweet! Outside. Inside. Outside. <laughs> Inside. <laughs> so what you saw <laughs> was the rest of X when he grabbed his skater and she Inside. almost came to a stop. <laughs> yes, that happens. And that can happen in gameplay when you take all the energy from your teammate to propel yourself, probably as the jammer. Okay, we did change speed. Okay, everybody relax. Your pace line, when you first get into your pace line and you're first figuring out your derby stance, it will make your back and abs tired. It takes time to get comfortable. So take little breaks while you're in your pace line to straighten up, stretch out your back, arms over your head is a good one. Like that, take little breaks. You'll be still skating beside each other, but you'll come out of that derby stance and stretch out your muscles and you can move on to the next drill. It'll really help in the long haul. Okay. Let's break apart the pace line a little bit and do a little push, give and receive. Like pick a partner, real informal. Push, give and receive. Even though we didn't do it, it's something that they could move on to real easily. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is this drill is the push, the give and receive push. It's on your minimum skills test. And we're gonna actually work in pairs, and we take time to do this probably like five, five minutes total, probably like two minutes for each person, and then you switch. So one person will be in the front, you skate a few strides, you drop into your derby stance, your partner will come up behind you and give you a push. They'll put their hands really low on your back, probably on the top of your butt, and push forward. Do not push down. Your teammate will go into the deck and be met. Forward. <laughs> Always forward. And you'll take turns. And so what you do is you approach your teammate, you'll go up and you'll say, get down. And they get down and you push them. When your teammate comes up behind you to push you, they say, get down, make sure you're down. And be ready. Lean forward, stay relaxed. Okay, here we go. Pretend it's been a few minutes. <laughs> this is something you'll use in gameplay to help your jammer get the yeah. impact. Okay. Good job. You guys need a drink? Okay. Then we'll do the